this between the Misfit and the Samsung Gear S3, this was the clear winner, as way more functions than the Misfit. Let's quickly go into some specifications and review the watch. It comes out of the box with a large band, but it has a smaller band in the box. You can change the band and I think a red color would look really nice. I'll show you a photo in a second. Let's continue. What connectivity it has? It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and GPS. With, if you're wondering what battery has, it's 380 milliamps. But it will last around, for me, maybe a day and a half, sometimes two days. And it says it claims that it will be three to four days. But that's only if you don't use it as much as I do. So this is a red band. I still like the black one, but it's pretty nice that you can swap bands and into different colors. Without further ado, let's right get into the review. Taking it off the base and putting the base away, it's... You can see it's an elegant, well, not really elegant. If you're looking for an elegant look, go with the classic version. This is the more sporty look. Look. So think of this as widgets. So if you click on this home button, it will bring up the app drawer. But if you slide to the right, it's widgets. So like, uh, we'll come back to the phone one later. I have recent apps, which is how many steps I've done. 49 um my location and weather reminders events um how much activity have i done this thing and news music yes you can play music when you download of the phone to there you have uh samsung health like running walking and i'll show you about this later this is just widgets you have how many water you have doing how many glasses you can set yesterday's zero i didn't fill in yesterday's details then i have what's um a world clock calories how much i've burned add web page and stuff like that let's get back to the home page let's let me show you the cooling function widget so you have unknown and stuff like that i'll press unknown one not showing the number i'm gonna click call it's gonna call unknown so it's bluetoothly connected and it's calling see it's dialing okay i think that's enough we'll hang up now that's the interface at least we know that now that we have the calling function sorted and all the widgets we now can go to the app drawer and show you some apps and samsung help by clicking the home button this is the home button and that's the back button and this is the rotating bezel you can go to the app drawer see you have messages phone contact samsung health samsung pay weather oops no i don't want the weather music settings next page as voice calendar so i've done it like if i stop on the app it'll automatically open it and you have alarm world clock gallery you have find my phone you have emails this monster vampire game that comes galaxy app stopwatch timer workout train this is also a game 360 punk snake i like that game calculator oops um internet 24 2048 then you have uh spotify yeah tiktok toe oops don't want the tiktok toe let's just quickly show you um music let's find music spinning the bezel music you can quickly play, I don't want to play too long. Okay, not to get demonetized by YouTube. Then you have, um, let's, what else should we show you guys? Um, timer. If this wasn't an enough detailed version of the watch review, I'll make a detailed function review. Well, this was just a review. I'll show you the functions if you want to just leave your comment down below, like this video, subscribe 
and Everything Tech Pro 23 signing out. If this wasn't an enough detailed version of the watch review, I'll make a detailed function review. Well, this was just a review. I'll show you the functions if you want to. Just leave your comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and Everything Tech Pro 23 signing out. <laughs>